Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are actually installing the Rago shock guard for the ZR2. So you can see here, we've got both of them and these actually go underneath and protect kind of the low hanging parts of the ZR2. And you can actually see, Monty, if you can get low, we've actually already ripped off the factory guard that comes on the shocks from Chevy. So um, this is honestly something we should have put on as soon as we bought the truck because we've already had. Zoom, zoom in here, Monty. You can already see some pretty aggressive trail damage on these shock mounts and actually on the physical shock. So um, you guys are going to be willing. I, I would suggest putting these on as soon as you buy the truck because they have no protection from the factory. So except for that little plastic sheet. So today we're going to be throwing on the Rago shock guards. Hope you guys like it. Guys, and as part of the ZR2 build out for um, the Baja series, we're going to be kind of taking you guys and showing you everything that we're doing, getting prepped for the races. Um, and the first level of events we're going to be kind of entering in is Best of the Desert. And so, like we were telling you guys, a lot of this stuff from Chevy Performance is on back order. So we are going to be Frankensteining this build. I was going to try to stick with a lot of Chevrolet Performance, um, but we're going to have to just search around for other parts. Um, the, the one thing though in the regulations when you guys are building these trucks make sure you read everything because you have to leave a lot of stock stuff on the truck um, you know the, the fenders the wheels a lot of this stuff you can't swap out if you want to race in, in uh, the class that these trucks are allowed in so um, what we're going to do is while we're doing these build outs guys is I'm going to kind of show you the checklist while we get stuff completed so these Rago shock guards on our Baja build checklist we're one step closer, guys. Let me find them. Boom. Number 15. Off the list. So one step closer, guys. The Baja build. Alright guys, we just got the first shot, shot guard off. Uh, let me show you guys how much sandblasted this thing is. It's fucking crazy. Alright guys, so right now we're putting in uh, this Rago shot guard. Uh, yeah. Alright guys, we just got in the first shot guard. Took us about 15-20 eh, minutes. So yeah, all we have to do is this next one and we're done.
you guys, uh, we just got off the second guard. Right now, checking I'm... the compression. <laughs> oh Make yeah. Make sure we don't have any leaks. She feels good. That one's a lot more stiffer than the other one. But yeah, no leaks. It's this good. is the last one. shock guard install um, overall super simple you know the only thing you have to do is cut the the tab for the brake line but I'm really happy with these shock guards like I said I sh honestly wish I would have put these on the, the minute I bought the truck they're like 150 bucks protects your investment I'll tell you what does not protect your investment are these guards from the factory I mean they might protect them a little bit but you guys can see this one we completely sandblasted off the bottom from doing all of our drifting. This one was still good, but what's interesting is the one that was facing forward like this and the one that was facing backwards, the one that was facing forward got absolutely demolished by the sand and everything we've been going through. The one that's facing the other way is honestly in decent condition. Um, but, you know, in all honesty, I'm, I'm, it's, it's pretty interesting that they would put this type of guard to protect one of the most expensive components on the truck. I think, you know, from the factory should have something like this. This is literally one of the most expensive components is the, the suspension. So shout out to Rago guys. This is an awesome product. This took us about hour 15, hour 20 minutes to get everything in. This mount was actually bent from one of our um, old excursions. So we had to bend it back into place to fit this over the top. So that's just another reason why you'd want to put these on as soon as you get them because like I said, if you bend these really bad, you're gonna have a really tough time throwing these on like we did. We had to smash it with the metal, or excuse me, with the rubber mount to get it on. But guys, this is uh, the first aftermarket mod of many that is gonna be on this truck. Um, over the next few weeks, we're gonna be doing a lot of modifications to get this thing ready to start preparing for best of the desert races next year. So first of many, many upgrades, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. We also have a Stuntman Stage Instagram page. Just go, go check that out more in depth on all of our vehicles. So hope you guys liked it. See you on the next one.